everyone. Today we will learn how to mesh unequal T pipe junction. The four way unequal T pipe junction geometry is represented by a cylinder of radius 4 mm and two smaller pipes of radius 2 mm intersecting the large pipe. We will use a top down approach in this case. First, we will start with a single block around the entire geometry and split them to address the fluid flow passage inside. In this tutorial, you will learn a framework for meshing pipe led geometries, how to use support surface at the sharp intersection to control mesh quality. The case has three cylinders representing the pipes and planar surfaces at their outer boundaries to form a closed volume. The first step is to create a box wireframe around all visible surfaces. Next, we split the blocks based on the geometry by viewing it on XZ plane. Ensure the blocks are placed inside the surface since it is an internal flow problem. And similarly, address the smaller pipes by dropping insert closer to the pipes at XY and YZ planes. We can remove the block outside the fluid domain. Now the wireframe will look like a plus symbol, exactly depicting the surface. Next, we need to create an O-grid for the pipes. While doing this step, the pipe outer faces have to be excluded. There are two approaches for the step. One would be to exclude every face manually by holding the X key and selecting the opposite diagonal corners. This is a time-consuming step. Hence, I will take the second option where we will split the block horizontally and vertically at the smaller pipe outer face. Similarly, for the large pipe, since we already have horizontal split, we split the blocks vertically. By splitting, we can select the outer faces of the pipe easily and the pipe inlet and outlet faces get excluded automatically. I'm going to assign the three cylinders and the planes to the respective surfaces first and then create an O grid. Once the assignments are done, the faces assigned to the pipe body can be grouped and wrapped to create an overhead. At this step, we can check the validity of the topology. Since we have finished the block building and the assignment of faces to the surface, the validity shows that the topology is valid with warnings. The warning description shows that some of the faces could potentially cause bad cells at the intersection. The warning highlights that the edges highlighted at the intersection are free to move and they could cause folds as seen in the mesh above. To freeze the edges from moving, we will have to add supporting surfaces at the intersection to guide faces. I'm grouping pairs of pipe surfaces into different surface groups and using the internal surface tool, we create the supporting surface from that intersection.
Now let us take the faces emerging out of one of the intersection and complete the sheet of faces into a corner group. Any interior edge assigned to a support surface should be a four point singularity, that is, have two blocks on the positive side and negative side. Here we can see that a few edges are part of a five point singularity. This leads to quality issue on the support surfaces. To create four point singularity, we can split the block interface using an internal wrap with insert and push the singularity point into the volume. Similarly, we need to repeat the same steps at the other region of intersection. Once support surfaces are assigned, let's check for the validity. Before running the grid, the density needs to be changed based on the length of the edges. Load the grid and check the quality. The mesh should give you a zero volume and zero surface fold. This Q value is 0.75. With this, we come to the end of today's tutorial. If you have any questions on the steps or any comments, feel free to leave it below. If you want us to post tutorials on any specific geometries, you could write to us at support and .com. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, leave us a like and subscribe to the channel for new videos. Follow us on our social media pages. The links are posted in the description.